Lately, a lot of American politics, and obviously the insurrection, have been fueled by damaging lies, with sometimes tragic consequences. Well, now some of the bills are actually coming due. While the government enforces criminal law and has indicted many people for the insurrection or other acts related to Trump's election lies, another round of battles are being waged in civil court. And there's some big victories, which is why this is such a top story right now. You may recall how Sandy Hook families won two multi-billion dollar cases against Alex Jones. And now there is a voting machine company that's using similar legal hardball to hit the Fox News company with a billion dollar suit that's all about alleged lies by Fox. And they're actually winning some of the initial skirmishes already over the process and how to get testimony and the facts, forcing Fox anchors to go under oath, including Tucker and Hannity. And now this week, and this is brand new, the biggest fish yet. I'm talking about one of the most powerful media executives in the world. Someone who actually decides what people in many different countries see. Someone who prime ministers and heads of state are afraid of. Rupert Murdoch has to go in under oath this week just like anybody else. And this is the Dominion voting machine case. They're waging this $1.6 billion defamation case. They think Murdoch's testimony could help them. And they allege these false claims that Dominion voting machines were rigged. The civil case is independent from the January 6th committee, which has formally ended. But this is a place where the committee's work and evidence lives on. Take Giuliani one of the people who pushed those lies the farthest. But then, again, totally separate process, but quite relevant, he admitted under oath to the January 6th committee, quote, I do not think the machine stole the election. And then you have another high-powered rebuttal that could hurt Fox, which came from Trump's own attorney general. On the Dominion voting machines, and they were idiotic claims, and... Uh, I specifically raised the Dominion voting machines, which I found to be among the most uh, disturbing allegations, disturbing in the sense that I saw absolutely zero basis for the allegations. I thought, boy, if he really believes this stuff, he has, you know, lost contact with, uh, with uh, he, he's become detached from reality. To review, it was a lie. They knew it was a lie. And the top, top Trump people knew it was a lie at the time. And that looks pretty bad. So you might say, what's Fox's defense here? Are they going to still wage the war of the big lie and claim it was all true? You don't have to be a lawyer to know that would be a pretty tough road to climb. They're not exactly doing that. 